guys, thankfully, here for the Dutch Grand Prix. Like I said, the weather is clear. No worries about rain. No having to worry about the weather radar, what the radar says. We are finally going to get a race for the first time since the Hungarian Grand Prix uh, many, many weeks ago. And hopefully this Grand Prix will be exciting to a certain extent. Uh, the track layout isn't great uh, for racing, but hopefully we'll get something interesting enough for us in this Grand Prix. Just a reminder quickly of the starting grid. Max Verstappen on pole, Hamilton second, Bottas third, and then Gasly fourth, Leclerc fifth, Sainz in sixth, Giovinazzi seventh, Ocon eighth, Alonso ninth, tenth is Daniel Ricciardo, and then Russell eleventh, Stroll twelfth, thirteenth is Norris, fourteenth, fourteenth uh, is Sonoda, fifteenth Vettel, sixteenth Kubica, and then seventeenth Schumacher, eighteenth Mazepin, nineteenth Latifi, twentieth Perez. Saying that, I don't see Latifi at the end of the pit lane just yet. So, I don't know what... And uh, he's waiting in his pit box still with the tyre warmers on, which is actually quite a smart idea to uh, keep the tyres warm. Of course, they don't need to leave the pit lane until the green light goes. He doesn't need to leave his pit box as of yet. As the front of the field or the front half of the field now lining up on the grid and the teams prepare for the start as the smoke... Bombs have let off quite a bit of smoke on the pit straight. Hopefully the drivers will be able to see coming through the banking at the end of the first lap. That's one thing we do not need is any poor visibility as now the two horses at the back of the field line up. And now the green flag waves at the back. And the lights come on here in Holland. Four lights and five lights here at Zandvoort. And lights out and away we go. And uh, Max Verstappen has got a good start. So has Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton has a decent start, but not as good as Max Verstappen. As Gasly locks up his inside front and goes a bit wide, but I think he will maintain position. Will he over the two Ferraris? Yes, just about. So Gasly is still in fourth place. Giovinazzi is, I think, now down to eighth or just about down to eighth. There's an Alpine very close next to him. Giovinazzi that was trying to get past Carlos Sainz on the run through turn four and five. And I think there was slight contact there with an Alpine with Antonio Giovinazzi. And Giovinazzi now has lost about three positions to the two Alpines. And now I think Daniel Ricciardo as well as they now come through the mid part of the lap. So Giovinazzi having a very, very poor start, which is not what he needed there. And I'm pretty sure he's down to 10th. There's, I think, Lance Stroll. is actually Alonso up in 7th place. Um, Lance Stroll side by side there, I think, for a brief time with George Russell going down to turn um, 11, which is the end, of course, of the second DRS straight. And then it's Russell 11th, Stroll in 12th. There's, we're already on lap 2, and Max Verstappen already has a commanding lead at the front is down to 16th as Lewis Hamilton comes in to the pits. So Mercedes have, I think, well, they've not admitted defeat. I wouldn't quite say that, but they're definitely now not on the strategy they would have wanted to be on with Lewis Hamilton. They're going to try now and force the hand of Red Bull. As Hamilton, I'm sure, giving it everything. And yeah, Red Bull getting ready for a pit stop. And they say box, box to Max Verstappen as he heads now into the Zanvort pit lane, which is quite tight, but it's not as tight as people, as some people make out. Not quite as tight as the Monaco pit lane. And for Staffan's pit stop, about a second quicker than Lewis Hamilton's, as we're now on lap 22 out of 72. About 50, or pretty much, yeah, 50 laps to go. And for Staffan, comes out on track and maintains the net lead of the Dutch Grand Prix. Bottas is now into the lead, but Valtteri Bottas has not pitted yet. And I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess, and it would be the only thing they can really do now, Mercedes, is keep Bottas out there to hold up Max Verstappen when Verstappen gets up to the back of him. If they don't do that, then I don't really understand what the point of pitting Hamilton when they pitted him was. A bit wide there. Unless that's just his line through there at the moment. 
But can Verstappen now, through turn 13 and onto the banking, get a good run on Bottas and pass him? Surely he will get the overtake done here. Bottas is going so slow. Verstappen pulls to the inside. And now lap 31, Max Verstappen is back into the official lead of the Grand Prix. And surely, and yet Bottas does, let Lewis Hamilton through. Lewis Hamilton now right behind um, Max Verstappen within eight tenths of a second of the Flying Dutchman up front. But if they do, if they both do, things are going to get interesting. As there's a yellow flag in Sector 1. Who is that? It's Sebastian Vettel, who by the looks of it has gone for a spin at Turn 3. And is now down in 17th place. And Sebastian Vettel has had an absolutely miserable Dutch Grand Prix weekend. Qualified 17th and he's now in 17th. He's only ahead of Giovinazzi and the two horses. That's how... Poor it's been, and yet... Oh, so he sends it down the inside of Giovinazzi and just spins. Another spin to add. And that's a Mercedes that had to go round him, I think, of Valtteri Bottas, who locked up his inside front. Ninth and tenth, even though Russell... As Lewis Hamilton now into the pit. So Lewis Hamilton pits again and goes on to another set on lap 40 of medium compound tyres. Two and a half seconds stop. A lot better of a pit stop. And given how much time he gained on the last outlap, oh, he's got traffic. He's got traffic. He's got traffic. He's got Ricardo, Russell, and Stroll. That is a horrible place to come out. But if he can replicate that outlap, he might be able to jump for Stappen. But with this traffic, I think that might be poss uh, possibly not possible, <laughs> if that makes any sense. As uh, Robert Kubica has just been passed by Yuki Sonoda down the field. But that could have been the perfect time to pit for Hamilton and Mercedes. But with the traffic situation, that was not what they needed. As Red Bull are not going to take any risks and they are going to pit Max Verstappen on what will now be lap 41 out of 72 can max verstappen maintain the lead of his home grand prix comes into the pits hard compound tires go on that's interesting and now he comes to the exit of the pit lane and there is lewis hamilton in the background lewis hamilton will not threaten him and verstappen maintains the lead but lewis hamilton i'm pretty sure is, and yes he is, on a softer compound of tyres. So can Hamilton use that to his advantage and get after Max Verstappen? But that traffic was a big moment in this Grand Prix. As Latifi and Russell are now all the way down the order. As Max Verstappen rounds turn 13. After what has been a up and down last couple of races. Max Verstappen is now right back where he wants to be. In the lead of the Drivers' Championship. And winning the 2021 Dutch Grand Prix in front of a jubilant home crowd. Congratulations to Max Verstappen. He's my driver of the day for a brilliant, easy drive, you've got to say. Considering the competition he has to deal with. So guys... That is the 2021 Dutch Grand Prix. And here is your final, sh final finishing order, if I can speak English. Max Verstappen wins his home Grand Prix in Holland. And again, takes the lead of the Drivers' World Championship by three points now. Going into the Italian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton is second. Bottas third. Gasly fourth. Leclerc fifth. Alonso sixth. I would love to see the overtake by Fernando Alonso, but I don't think we will. Carlos Sainz finishing in P7, Perez 8th, Ocon 9th, and Norris in 10th. And then the rest of your order that finished the race but not in the points, Daniel Ricciardo P11, P12 Lance Stroll, 13th Vettel, 14th Giovinazzi, 15th Kubica, 16th Nicholas Latifi, 17th Russell, 18th Mick Schumacher. And your only retirements from the Dutch Grand Prix, Yuki Tsunoda and Nikita Mazepin. And yeah, not a good race really, quite a boring race, but... What an atmosphere and what a result for the home crowd in Holland.